Hello, this is Richard at We're Not Wizards. Um, this was going to be an unboxing for this nonsense. Arcane Blaster Casters, which is all about wizards. And you know how we feel about wizards. However, I thought I could do one better than this. I reckon, after playing it a couple of times, I could probably tell you how to play it within about six or seven minutes. Tops. So I'm going to teach you very quickly how to play Arcane Blaster Casters from Battle Boar games. Okay? Um, the idea of the game is quite simply is you are a set of magical fools, magical idiots, people without a clue who like to wear absolutely ridiculous floppy hats. Look at the state of these people. And they've decided to have a feud. And they're also in the middle of learning stuff. And the idea is what they want to do is they want to avoid losing all of their 20 life points. Because otherwise that means that they become a slug. You don't want to become a slug. Because that means that you're crawling about. And even though you can't get damaged, you can damage other people a little bit. But you can't win the feud. Okay? It's broke in a two main movements. You've got your movement and then you've got your spell casting phase. Your movement phase and your spell casting phase um, are all decided based on one thing which is these cards here and it's not about what's on the cards it's pretty much how quickly you can decide what cards you're going to be playing and what order you're wanting to be playing them in because if you look very closely at all the cards you can see there are various letters on the bottom of the cards. So in this, I've got an A. And here I've got a B. And then here, I've got a C. Or Arcane Blaster Casters. It's not just a clever way of labelling your cards. If you lay your cards in quick enough, you get to be the pers person to pick up the first initiative token. If you're not as quick, you might get to lay down the second card. Or even the third card. It depends on how quickly that you are. As you can see, you're picking a side of the cards to play. So do you put the cards down as quickly as possible to play? Or do you, do you kind of take your time, a little bit more of your time, and make sure that you're picking the best strategy possible when you do get your turn? Who knows? But it's decided on how quickly you play your cards. Once you play your cards, quite simply, you're looking at the very, very bottom row from left to right, and you're going to be adding up all the various tools that you get. So in instance, what I've got here is this first one here. Now if I wasn't sure, I've got a handy effects reference. If I look at the top here, I can see that that is a chaos sign. I've also got the ability to split, that I can move my spell about. I've got damage that I can take. I've got the ability to regen, and so on and so forth. All in a nice little handy reference sheet, because the idea of this game is it's meant to be fairly fast to play. It's meant to not be a four hour game. You're meant to be getting through it as quickly as possible. So I'm going to roll my dice. I've got a little six. And I get a six. So in this case, a six means I've got haste. And what that means is if I have got haste, it means that I get to take another spell card in my next game. It is a state and effect, status effect. Um, if I'm the first player, the first thing I've got to do is I've got to move. So I will move up to four spaces. If I move that, one, two, three, four. Or if I move that, that'll take up two. That'll take up two, because it's the diagonal. Simple as that. Once I've moved my four units, then I get to cast my spell. So if I went one, two, I can then decide that I'm going to attack, say, green. Yeah? Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I've got my haste for my next round, so I'll be haste. I'm going to be able to move my spell. The green means movement, so I'm going to move my spell twice, which is brilliant because they're two spaces away. I am going to then do three damage plus two damage, well, that means five damage. And I'm also going to be regenerating myself for four health. And then that's what I do. And then this poor person gets their damage, so they reduce it based on their dice. So if I've done five damage, I'm going to take that down to whatever number I need to. Um, there's a couple of things that might take effect. You have, um, if you got, come under a certain status, here's some statuses here. 
I've got a uh, shields and the shield will protect me from spell damage. I've got slow and what slow means is I'm not quick enough to cast all of my cards so I get to play two cards instead of three cards. On the other side of it I've got hasten which means I've been very very rapid, very very quick and I get to lay down four cards instead of the normal three which is quite nice. And then on the other side I've got blinded which is even more interesting which means <laughs> when I lay my cards down I'm not even allowed to know what I'm playing until I actually play them. The issue is once you get down to less than having zero health it means that you turn into a slug. When you turn into a slug you automatically get to based on the amount of damage that they had knocked you down for so if that uh, if that damage had actually taken me up if i was at one and needed five damage that would mean that i needed to add four to my total roll so i would roll my i would roll my d20 again and i get one now one plus the four that is five so in other words the destroyer in this case gains four teleport if i really really did a number on them there's a potential i can actually reform and gain one haste if um, i've been utterly destroyed so that is a possibility that that can happen game then moves up to the next player who's got the next initiative token so now we're on number two so that would be the second player so that would be red they would do the same thing they would then move they would then use the spell cards out of the six that they draw on a round and then they would uh, they would have already decided on what spells they were going to use, so they would play through the spells that they use. Everybody keeps going until one wizard is left standing and everybody's left as slugs. If you are a slug, you get less cards, but you can't be damaged, you can't be hurt. But if you wipe out a wizard when you are a slug, you get to become a wizard again. Um, so that means that the matches can be very, very quick, or they can go on a little bit, depending on how you want to play. So this is a very, very quick overview of Arcane Blaster Casters coming to Kickstarter next couple of weeks or by the time you see this um this is we're not wizards my name's richard this is like an overview remember stay safe roll sixes make something awful and uh, until the next time goodbye